On a Saturday afternoon on the Lead Hall, we welcome you to Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio as the division leading Bowling Green Falcons come into Oxford to take on the Red Hawks from Miami. Alongside Josiah Collins, Patrick Eschew with you here on Red Hawk Radio this afternoon. We thank you so much for tuning in. All right, Josiah, 21 and 7 overall, the Bowling Green Falcons, 12 and 3 in the MAC. They have won three in a row, five in their past seven. One win in front of Akron for first in the East Division, coming off a 78 60 win against Akron on Tuesday. The men from up north are pretty hot coming into this one today. Yeah, this is one of the best teams that they've been able to put out on the court in some good time now. So, this is definitely something that they're looking forward to. If they can get a win here today, then they can possibly clinch a chance to win the regular season MAC title. So they're definitely going to come out ready to play, ready to win. Yeah, Bowling Green could clinch the regular season MAC title with a win today, and if Buffalo wins as well, now Ohio would have to beat Kent State at home Friday for Bowling Green to get the number one seed with both of those results happening as well. Bowling Green also has won 21-plus games in back-to-back seasons for the first time since 1947 to 1949. On the other side of the ball, Josiah, let's talk about Miami. 11-17 and overall, 4-11 and in the MAC. They've lost six of their past eight, but... Coming off a 76-57 win against Central Michigan on Thursday, arguably the best performance they've put on the floor all year long. Yeah, and it, it's, the real question is, can you do it again? I mean, we've talked about it time and again. The team has just not been so consistent this season, so they were able to get a good win last time out. They, they played really well, played great defense. They kept the Chippewas to 30% shooting on the whole game. So if they want to win this game today, that's, they're going to have to do the same thing today. Yeah, Red Hawks held Central Michigan at 32.8% shooting from the field back on Thursday here at Millette in the coronavirus makeup game. That is the best for Miami in any MAC game this season. These two teams met back on January 7th at the Stroh Center in Bowling Green. The Falcons won it by two, 78-76. Delonte Brown with Miami with 20 points. Dylan Fry, a name you're going to hear a lot today for Bowling Green, scored 22 in that game to lead the Falcons in a game where there were 22 lead changes, so expect something close to happen tonight. Miami leading the all-time series 49 and 39. The Red Hawks four and six in the last 10 against Bowling Green, though, as a pretty good crowd here on this triple header Saturday of Miami Sports in Oxford. It's the Red Hawks and the Falcons. Game two of our basketball doubleheader here at Millette Hall today. Let's join the Millette Hall public address for our starting lineups and national anthem on this Saturday afternoon.
Jack Owens will try to lead his squad to win number 12 on the year for the Miami Red Hawks, and they can do it today in their second to last home game of the regular season. Josiah, we're down to the three regular season games left at the Mid-American Conference. Every single one is critical, and the Red Hawks playing some pretty good teams down the stretch. They go to Buffalo Tuesday. They play at home against Ohio next Friday. So any win you can get, any success you can get on the floor in these final three games you're going to take. Yeah, you definitely want to just continue building. You know, it hasn't been a season that you wanted to have for sure, but you want to finish the season strong every single time out. So every game matters. Every game you can go out and prove yourself to these other teams in the conference. A recognition right now at half court as Daryl Hendrick, the longtime Miami basketball coach in the 70s and 80s, led this program to some of its best success it's ever seen. Miami winning MAC championships left and right under Hendrick's leadership. And Hendrick, it's, uh, it's nominated Daryl Hendrick Day here at Miami. So a lot of alumni have come back and to honor the head coach who's still a major part of what goes on in the Miami basketball program, still has a relationship with the athletic department. He comes to every single athletic event, whether it's football, men's, women's basketball, or hockey, he'll be there. That's some serious commitment right there. I'll tell you what. <laughs> and so we're set, ready to go here for basketball after that clears off the court. 20 minutes on the clock in the first, Miami and Bowling Green. McNamara squares off of the tip at half court for the Red X and wins it back. And we're underway at Millette Hall. Pretty good crowd for this triple header game. Lots of fans traveling down I-75 for Bowling Green. Plenty of orange in the crowd. Top of the key and Grant steps in the arc and back out to pass right edge for McNamara. Holds it with both arms. 10 to shoot for Miami. 20 seconds in and McNamara finds his way on the right edge for a right-handed shot off the glass and it. Great start. Yeah, great post move there. Great footwork that time. I'm showing a lot of patience. Dylan Ziegler for, or David Ziegler rather, for Bowling Green on the far edge of the floor. They get it back top of the key. Tyler Matos back to the near wing. Caleb Fields as we start a little bit past the 3.30 time they slotted for this game. The Miami women's basketball team playing earlier in that doubleheader. If you listen to Josiah, top of the key. Three-pointer off the hands of Fields. Missed. Long rebound out to Maje White who's over the line on the right wing. Pass to the far edge for Grant, top of the key, Jovic. The shovel pass near side, Sabani. One bounce and it's in a McNamara. The paint fires off the jumper for 14 and it's good. McNamara with four to give Miami the four nothing lead. Yeah, that was a confident looking jump shot right there. You love to see that confident start there for McNamara. It's been an impact player as we've gone throughout the year. More and more for this Miami team. Ziegler trying a left wing drive and an offensive foul. Contact there with Day Day Grant. Miami gets it back with 18.39 to go in the first. Great start by Miami, both sides of the ball. It's only been a minute and a half so far, but good start there. So one bounce on the inbound. Jovic finds Day Day Grant middle of the floor for the Red Hawks. Grant over the line on the right wing. Holds up with a left-handed dribble. Pass into the paint for McNamara. Holds it to his chest. Working right edge against Matos. McNamara, Mac logo, left-handed hook shot. Missed short. And about picked up from PG back the other way. Turner, left wing drive on Maje White. Hits the break, steps it back. Kick out top of the key. Matos the three in and out. They tip for the rebound, and it's grabbed there by Daquan Plowden, who plows his way past McNamara. It's off the glass and in for two, and BG on the board. You have to close out defensive possessions every single time. Make sure you get that defensive board. No second chance points. RJ White, top of the key for Sabani. Between the legs, fires off a three-pointer. It's too hard as Fields, the defender, was standing far enough away from Sabani to get it off. Turner back to the way for Bowling Green. Left wing drive on Jovic, decides to get angled to the corner. Jovic, a good job there to push him away. Top of the key, Fields, left-handed dribble down the left edge, a kick back top of the key, plowed in. Well, fire this one cross court for Fields. Right-handed dribble, fires it near a wing. Three-pointer, Ziegler, way too hard, and is picked up on the rebound of the far wing by Subandi. Good energy here for both teams early on. Subandi near a wing for MyJ White. Top of the key, Jovic left wing, drive and a wide open lane, and gets it to go with the right arm. It took three steps for Jovic to get from the arc to the rim, and a 6-2 Miami lead. I like how Miami has been attacking the hoop so far to start this game. Not settling for a lot of threes, which is something that we've seen them do a lot of times. Turner to the field, back to the far wing for Plowden. Gives it up top of the key. Three-pointer short from the hands of Matos. McNamara the only one there to grab the rebound. Over the line, Sabani. Shovel far pass. Shovel pass far side. Jovic 
Back for Sabandi, top of the key, between the legs. On the dribble, you over the long and airway, right handed. And now Grant, far side, and Miami trying to reset here on offense, so they have eight to shoot. Grant with a straight from McNamara, finds wow, Yolik wide <laughs> open under the hoop. He was wide open, and a left-handed hook shot is good. Great flip pass there by Grant, drawing in the defender, and letting Jovic get wide open in the short corner. Milos Jovic with an impact so far today. Defensively as well, BG has a shot from the far side. Rax get the rebound, it was no good. It's a bandy, a stretch pass from the other end of the floor. Grant fed it across the timeline. Sabani under the hoop, went up for a shot. An aggressive foul as Sabani was contacted in the arms trying to get it off. We got a conference here between referees. This might be more than just a regular foul. I'm trying to see who they called it on. There was a flurry of players in the area. Caleb Fields will grab his first personnel and they're going to the monitor to check it out. Yeah, that was a good strong take there by Sabandi. A nice opportunity there, but free throws are going to be a huge part of the game for them once again. So if they can make these free throws, can make all their free throws in the game consistently, then they should be in pretty good shape for the rest of this game. Now we'll see what they can do is an 8-2 Miami lead early on here, Josiah. 16-09 to go in the first. The Bowling Green crowd that traveled down from Northern Ohio is silent so far. The Falcons scoreless in the last two minutes. It's been a pretty good start for Miami. I don't think you can really say that they should have started any better. Yeah, I mean, the start has been perfect. That's that's almost never been the problem, I don't think, that we've seen, especially just watching the games uh, throughout the course of the season. They've never had a problem starting a game. It's just continuing that same energy that you have at the start of a game for a full 40 minutes. And you just True. haven't seen that from them that much this season. So the start is great. You love it. But you have to keep it going. You can't let your foot off the gas. So now the referees are discussing the call right in front of the scores table. All three are huddled up along the far side. This could be a flagrant. Might be a flagrant one. Personally, I wouldn't I wouldn't rule it that high. I just think it might have been a little bit of a hard common foul, but with the rules in place now today, that might be a flagrant. So now one of the referees has got to the scores table to report the verdict, and another the other two are talking to each coach, each head coach. Jack Owens from Miami in his third season. And they do say it's a flagrant one, the official announcement here in the building. Michael Huger, the head coach for Bowling Green in his fifth season, 94 graduate of the Falcons, just signed a three-year extension after last season. The Falcons runners up in the conference lost to Buffalo in the conference championship game last year. So it's Subandi all alone at the free throw line. The first one is good. And he'll have a pair. And Miami will get the possession back. And Subandi's second one is on the way and it's good. With the Red Hawks, the 10-2 lead. Yeah, here's a good chance to capitalize on the flagrant here. Get another bucket for yourself. Extend the lead to double digits already. So it is Subani here to win by near side of the baseline. The Rex have 20 to shoot. Floater pass to the outside the arc in the left wing. Caught by McNamara. The hand back for Subani. And here comes Grant. He's on the right edge, decides to hold it. Jovic top of the key with eight to shoot. Tries a left Ooh. wing drive, had a wide open lane, and it goes to the rack for two. Definitely Take a nice Plowden. Yeah, Plowden just kind of shifted to his right, and Jovic had a wide open lane. Yeah, he put him on skates that time, moved him over. <laughs> Here's Ziegler top of the key for BG, pass far away for Turner, right handed dribble on White. Turner kind of pinched up along the sidelines, finds Matos to bail him out top of the key. Turner gets it back, moving cross court, whistle from under the basket, and we get a foul here against the Red Hawks. Some contact in the paint area will give us our first stoppage of the game. 15-31 to go here in at the first. Red Hawks out to a great start. They lead the Bowling Green Falcons by a 12-2 margin, and this is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
Bowling Green inbounds the ball, their offensive end of the floor after the timeout. And then they get it to the free throw line. Daquan plowed and passed to the near way. It was cut off by Jay White. Back the other way. Grant, top of the key, Jovic, near wing for McNamara. Now a drive from the corner by Sabani near wing. He tried to fling it to the far side where White was waiting for the pass, but it got tipped out by BG. That was great fast action that time on the fast break there by Miami. Patrick Escher, Josiah Collins on Red Hawk Radio this afternoon. Thanks for tuning in. Game two of the three game day in Miami Athletics, all in Oxford today. Sabani right hand drive as he was trying to fire off a jumper that missed. BG grabs it back in the far wing, Plowden over the line here, middle of the floor. Five minutes into this first half, a 12 2 Miami lead for Millet. Miami playing with great intensity on defense right now. If they can keep this up for a full 40 minutes, then they should be in good position to win this game. Near side shot is good, and it's a jumper by Plowden. He's got a little feed and fired it off. 12 to 4 is the lead for the Red Hawks. Here's Sabani. Far side pass for Eli McNamara. For Grant, top of the key. And we'll hand off to Sabani, who came in from the far side. Near wing pass for White. Hands off. Grant, step back from the arc to the right elbow. Fires off the shot. It missed too far right. And it's picked up here by Bowling Green. Matos, Oda Fields, left wing. Fields to right hand, a dribble. Gets it top of the key. Now a pass for left side. Drive in. Get a foul here. An offensive one. Matos to left wing drive. Look at a center to cross. But he put an elbow right to Milos Jovic's face. Jovic okay. And with 14 minutes to go in the first, Rex get it back. Good job in positioning that time on defense after Bowling Green gets a good stop on defense. Miami just responds by being in good position, waiting for the play to come to them, and they force a charge. So Jovic will inbound for the Red Hawks to Makai Larry. And Red Hawks will go to work here offensively. Larry on the long the left away. Miami scoreless in the last two minutes. Larry coughed it up, trying to go up for a shot right elbow. Loose ball picked up by Michael Laster, who kicked it out for Turner, and it's picked off by Bowman. White, top of the key, Jovic, near a wing for Larry. We'll wait for the right-handed dribble outside the arc, return to the Miami M. Jovic shovels it off for Larry. That time, good job settling in instead of trying to force a shot on the fast break. White to Larry, near wing for Jovic with 10 to shoot. Top of the key, Bowman. Back for Jovic. Fake the three pointer on Plowden. Jovic to the free throw line and gets it to go on the shot. And Milos Jovic now eight points of the day to lead the team in a 10 point Miami lead. Very hot start for him today. If he's going to keep shooting like that, keep getting to the ball. On the far wing, Caleb Fields for Bowling Green. Over the Plowden, holds it above his head. Marlon Sierra's first touch of the game, fires off the shot, and it's good, but is it two or three? I think they gave him a three that time. They might review that during the timeout. Yeah, referees were looking at each other, and then they put up a three. Larry far wing for the Red Ox. You don't want Bowling Green to climb back into it as we go to the bench players now for Miami, Coleman Lance. Yeah, the bench is going to definitely play a crucial role. They had 32 points last game out, so if they can repeat that type of effort, that will definitely bode well for Miami. And the bench players now are what will the starters were at the beginning of the year. Three to shoot. Jovic down, down three. Way too hard. Picked up here by Sierra and gets it far away. BG quickly over back the other way. Turner, right elbow working on White. Got the drive to go. The shot is good. Turner with a great athletic play. One against two. Got it to go. Yeah, this is a situation right now where you need some offense to spark for Miami. Larry right-handed dribble, top of the key. The far side pass, Coleman Lance back for Bowman. Near wing, it's White. With 12 minutes left in the first, his pass to the middle picked off. Laster, a breakaway, the layup good to the left arm for Bowling Green, who is pulled within three. It's 14-11 Miami. You might need a timeout right now if you're Miami, because right now Bowling Green has all the momentum on their side. A 6-0 run for the Falcons. Far wing, it's Bowman, three-pointer, missed it, left, an air ball went off the foot of Jovic, out of bounds on Miami. It brings us to a media timeout, but a much-needed one for the Red Hawks. As the Falcons here on a 6-0 run in the last minute, 44, have taken a fourth for the trail now, Miami by a score, 14-11, Bowling Green. 
has uh, made the lead a lot less than what it was just a few moments ago. Red Hawks had a 10-point lead just a few minutes ago. 11.34 to go here in the first. Red Hawks lead at 14 to 11. This is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Patrick Edger, Josiah Collins, back with you on Red Hawk Radio. A standing ovation, Josiah, for Daryl Hedrick, who has presented a retired jersey during the timeout. Yes, yeah, definitely always great to honor the legends of the past. Hopefully the Miami can do him proud today and get a win here on the home court. Daryl Hedrick Day at Miami University and longtime head coach being honored with all sorts of festivities during today's game. EG here at top of the key offensive end. Justin Turner, middle lane drive on Sabani. Float shot, missed short. And the first touch of the game here for Delonte Brown, who brings it down and hands the rebound off to Larry. Good to see Brown back out there for Miami after sitting out a few games. Top of the key, it's Sabani. Brown has battled injury issues all season long. Sabani's pass to the near side, tipped out of bounds by Laster, and Rocks will get it back in the offensive end. Yeah, he's out there with that brace now. Hopefully everything stays together and where it needs to be. Coleman lands left-handed dribble top of the key. 10.55 to go here in the first. 14 to 11, the Red Hawks lead it. Coleman lands into the arc, fires off a jumper and miss. Rebound pulled down by Sierra. He had a foul though. Yeah, and good job by BG. Bowman. Yeah. yeah, Bowman, he flailed his arm a little bit trying to get the ref's attention. He got it, so Miami gets another chance here. So Larry will inbound near side of the baseline for the Red Hawks. Team foul number four on Bowling Green with 10.50 left here in the first. Larry waits to inbound the ball, running out of time. Finds Bowman near side outside the arch. Gave it back for Larry, bobbles the ball back at half court, regains control. BG starting to play a really aggressive brand of defense. Hey, Miami does not look ready for it. One against two, Laster and Sierra knock the ball away from Larry. BG back the other way. Blaster top of the key, trying to find a way to punch it in, gets it far side, moving in was Fields for a pass near a wing, Diggs found room and got the three-pointer to go and we're tied at 14. Larry that time stepped back and a great play by Diggs to get the three-pointer off. Yeah, right now BG is just in complete control of the game. Miami has to find themselves on offense and defense right now. 10-0 run for Bowling Green in the last three minutes. Savani, left-handed dribble, right elbow, got the shot to go, is it and one? The contact there with a Bowling Green defender, and they are going to count the basket, and Savani to the line for a chance at a three-point play. That's exactly what you need from your leaders in a time like that. When your offense isn't working, you got to get the ball in your hands and make a play. With 
10.05 to go here in the first. Zubani will try to complete the three-point play. Two for two at the line this afternoon. An 80% free throw shooter on the air. Zubani double figures in four of his past five at 17, which was the team high against Central Michigan on Thursday and got the free throw to go. So the Red Hawks extend the lead now to three at 17 to 14. Halfway through this first half. Blaster left-handed dribble around the arc of the far wing. The pass back top of the key. It is Madis Kulavakis who fires off the shot too hard. Coming down to it, Coleman lands over the line here on the left wing. Coleman lands a right-handed dribble. Gets it right elbow down the right edge. Pass to your side, tipped out of bounds by Sierra. As Grant was in the area, the intended target. Yeah, great idea that time, but you want to see a bounce pass in that situation instead of trying to force the chest pass in there. Sabani got the inbound pass in the paint and fired off a right-handed hook shot. Good off the glass. Good to see Sabani going to work there in the paint. 125 left here in the first. Five-point Miami lead. Near wing pass. Dylan Fry's first touch of the game for Bowling Green. To Kulavakis. Far wing Trey Diggs. Top of the key. Laster left edge drive. No good as he went off the glass with a left-handed layup. Coleman lands back the other way for the Red Hawks. Near wing pass for Grant outside the arc. Stepped in and back out. Dana Grant to the Mac logo, cutting across the floor. Right handed shot, missed. Boom, and the putt back right there to get it through. And a timeout called by the Falcons with 8.55 to go in the first. 21 14, Miami the lead. Great response by Miami after the 10 0 run by BG. A 7 0 run of their own here to get them back up seven. What's Miami been doing here over the past few minutes, Josiah? Obviously, a little bit of, of a slow, you know pace there with a 10-0 run by Bowling Green, but what did they change in that last minute or so? I think they just had to adapt to the way that BG was playing them so physical. We saw that we, you know, when those substitutions came back in from Miami, they got Sabandi back in there, they got Delonte Brown in there, Bowman in there, guys that could really handle that type of play. So when they had that, there were more opportunities to make some plays. Sabandi's doing a good job finding his shot right now, and then on the defensive side of things, they're just not allowing any second chance opportunities for BG. So it is a seven point Miami lead. Reddox on a 7 0 run in the last 49 seconds. Jovic, four for five in his last five field goals, too. He's been hot the past couple games as well. Yeah, he's a very pure shooter. His form is, is really great. Whenever he gets an open look, you think he can drill it. Takes near wing for Bowling Green. His matchup with Sabani. Thought about a three, then a shovel pass far wing for Laster. To the corner, Sierra left wing in and back out, working on Pullman, eight to shoot. Sierra left-handed dribble at the baseline. We got a foul here. Just a little bit of contact between him and Pullman, and the referee standing in front of the Miami bench says it's enough for a foul. And this will be team foul number three on the Red Hawks here in the first. Yeah, that's a play on in that situation. Both guys just playing intense right there. I think that you should just let him go in the corner like that. So on the far side, Michael Laster, pass to the corner, Diggs, three-pointer, yes sir, nothing but net, Trey Diggs, a 40% three-point shooter coming in. He only had two against Akron, but Diggs up to six on the day today, 21-16, Miami. Bowman back for Sabani, top of the key. Will step back for a three on Fry, it's short from Sabani, they tip around the rebound, Diggs comes down with it. And a pass to the far wing, Laster, the left hand, a dribble over the line of the left wing. Blaster, the behind the back pass for Sierra to the right elbow for Kulavakis. The give and go with Diggs, it was tipped away. Brown corrals it on the floor. Rocks charge back up the other way. Great hustle by Delonte Brown. You love seeing a player dive on the floor for the ball. That shows that you want it. Sabandi near wing. Brown hands it back for Coleman Lance. Top of the key. Far wing for Bowman. Gave it off for Grant. Near wing, Coleman Lance corrals the ball against Laster. Coleman left handed dribble. Back for Coleman Lance. Fires off the three pointer. It's good. Coleman Lance. 35% three point shooter on the year. Gives a 24 16 lead to the Red Hawks. Very confident looking shot that time. You love to see it go down. Pushes the lead back up to eight. Laster left handed drive and a dribble. Goes to the rack and fires it off the glass for a pair left arm. 24-18, six-point Miami lead, 7-10 to go here in the first. Grant the dribble near wing. Stop the key, Sabani corrals it for the Red Hawks, reaches the right elbow, tries the right side, drive, and it's good for an N1, Nike Sabani. 
has been an impact player for Miami the last couple of games. He's doing that again tonight. Savani now with nine points. This is what they've been waiting on for him for the whole season pretty much. So these last few games, they're really seeing what they've been expecting to see out of him all year. And you just love to see him coming on strong. He wants to go to the NBA, try to work his way there for the Mid-American Conference. 26-18, the Miami lead. We have a break. It's Miami Basketball on Red Hot Radio. Patrick Escher, Josiah Collins, back of the year on Red Hot Radio, 6.59 left here in the first. It's 26-18 Miami lead, and Nike Sabani about to finish off a three-point play. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. His aggression has been definitely a welcome sight for Miami to start this game. Couple dribbles with both arms. Sabani, the shot is good. Nine-point Red Hot lead with seven minutes to go in the first. Last year over the line, middle of the floor. Left-handed dribble, the pass far away. Daquan plowed above his head for Bowling Green. Gave it back, Laster steps from the arc, pass to the near wing, Dylan Fry, three-pointer, moving to his left and got it to go. Dylan Fry to Miami, Florida, second team all NABC last year. Averaging 13.6 a game for BG off the bench today, 27-21. Fry the senior is giving Bowling Green a lot of good things when they go on their Mac runs. McNamara in the paint for Miami. Mac logo works his way for a shot. Little step back move on Cloud and got it to go. 29-21. His post play has just improved so much throughout the whole season. His footwork looks a lot better. He just looks a lot more comfortable than he did like starting game one. Laster down the left edge, got it to go off the glass. Little drive. Yeah, you're right. For McNamara too, he's been playing a ton more minutes. More reps giving him more improvement too. Yeah, that's the best way to improve a player. You just get them actual game time, let them just play it out. Grand left-handed dribble, shovel to the near corner. Caught here by McNamara. Holds it, fires the jumper, and it's no good. That time on Dylan Swingle is fresh in the game for BG. And the ball tipped out of bounds and the rebound by Miami, so the Falcons get it back with 5.43 left here in the first. Points in the paint for Miami has been a huge story. They have 20 of those compared to BG only having 10. So I definitely think that's a big part of why they have that lead right now, not settling for the threes that we usually see. Last to the line, middle of the floor. Fires a pass far side, plowed near wing for Fry. Top of the key, bobbled by Laster, regained control. And Laster here, three-pointer right edge off the front part of the rim. It came down and a put back is good by Dylan Swingle. Red-shirted freshman of Chillicothe, Ohio. 1.7 points per game on the air. He surpassed that tonight already. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep him off the boards down there on the defensive side. Put back a tip there. Brown top of the key, McNamara. That's an unfamiliar spot. Hands off for Savani. McNamara to the post. Savani right side. Drive. Got it to go. A little shadow play there. 31-25, the Miami lead. 
So Bandy is a complete flow right now. Takes for a corner for BG, got a stretch pass, working on Sabani, spin around move, left edge, floater good with the right arm. He was almost behind a backboard on that one. Got it to float with four point lead for the Red Hawks. Coleman Lance, left wing for McNamara, hands it back, Coleman Lance, three pointer, missed too hard. They usually go in for him as of late. Fry over the line right away for BG. Back for Laster, gets to the free throw line, pull up, miss. It comes out to Duarte Brown, who catches the rebound with both arms. And it's the far wing, Savani. Near wing, Coleman Lance, top of the key for Brown. Far side, Savani, right handed dribble inside the arc and back out. Brown, top of the key, near wing for Grant. Dede Grant will hold for the Red Hawks with 12 to shoot. Left handed dribble to the left edge, kicks it back. McNamara, free throw line, the floater left arm, and a double dribble. Tough call there for the Red Hawks on the offensive end of the floor. Gives us a media timeout with 3.58 to go here in the first. 31-27, the Miami lead. This is Miami basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Three fifty-eight left here in the first, 31-27, the Miami lead. Patrick gets to Cy Collins and Red Hawk Radio. Turnovers to Cy. Rex doing a good job managing them here in this first half. Yeah, only four here in the first half so far. They're doing a good job keeping possession, not making those mistakes that put them in a bad position. Fry top of the key. Daquan Plowden holds it above his head, far away from Turner. And then back for Dylan Fry with a black headband today. Fry in and back out, fires off the three. It's good. Dylan Fry from downtown. Nothing but net. Those are the BG fans you hear. It's a one-point game. Yeah, you're going to have to close out much tighter on a shooter like that. You give him any type of space, he's going to rise up. Grant shovel pass far away. McNamara holds it above his head. Back for Grant, top of the key. Shovels it far away for Sabani. Grant hands off. Majay White trails down toward the back logo, folded off the glass. No good. Fry back the other way. The pass ahead got tipped off the hand out of bounds, and they say it went off a Bowling Green hand. And we'll go back to the Red Hawks here. Kind of a tough call to make as it was in transition and about three people touched it. Yeah. Not even might have gotten away with one that time, but they'll live with it. And the referees will not review it either as Michael Huger, the head coach for Bowling Green, was adamantly disagreeing with the call, but won't go his way. Grant, right-handed dribble, trails his way to the far side. Now the right edge. Back for McNamara, two-handed jam. 33-30 Miami, and McNamara has done, done that a lot the past few games. Yeah, making his impact, making his presence felt, making the most of those minutes. Fried on the right edge of the paint, tries to drive, he's kind of uncommitted, and a foul whistle here. 
as he came down the right edge and McNamara gave him a shove. I was watching the shootaround today, Josiah, before the women's game, the Red Hawks men's team was doing their pregame routine and shoot around and McNamara was practicing two-handed dunks. <laughs> Trying to make sure he doesn't get too powerful on one and mishandle it. But I, d I definitely like the, the aggression that he's been able to play with over the past few games. It's definitely something that you love to see as a coach just throughout the season and development. And if what you're doing is practicing two-handed dunks during a shoot-around, then I think that shows your confidence too. Oh yeah, 100%. He's sure that he's going to get those type of looks. He's wa he wants to be ready to take them. Dylan Fry at the line, went one of two for Bowling Green. It's 33-31. Seven points of the day for Dylan Fry. Danny Grant, half court for the Red Hawks. Switches to the left arm, fires off a three-pointer. It's in and out. And back to the hands here of Daquan Plowden. Over the line right away, Fry. Top of the key, shovel pass. Plowden plows his way through the paint on Jovic. And it goes out of bounds here, and I guess we have a foul on Jovic. Yeah, that's how I, I don't necessarily agree with the call. You have somebody driving into the defender, really trying to, trying to force the issue. Usually a ref doesn't give that call to the offensive player, but that time I guess they did. So at the line here is Plowden for a pair, and the first one is good. <laughs> Didn't know for quite a second. He's an 86.7% free throw shooter. Daquan Plowden out of Philadelphia. 6'6 guard. 10 points in their last game against Akron. Has started in every appearance this year, including today for Bowling Green. And the second one is good. So we're tied at 33 with 2.20 left here in the first. All right, Miami's got to break the press here a little bit if Bowling Green wants to bring more pressure. Grant over the line right away, pass to the far side. Here's White, cuts his way to the middle, pass near your wing for Sabani outside the arc, screen from Brown. Far side, White holds the ball to his chest, cuts across the floor, near wing, Grant, three-pointer, and rims around and in. Dana Grant wears number three, and he knocks down the triple, 36-33. Fry top of the key, near wing pass, plowed a three-pointer, that's good, and they're traded triples in Oxford, we're tied at 36. It's gonna be a very back and forth game, we can already see it. This might be a bar fight till the end. White. Got the screen for McNamara on Fry. Up and under move for the far corner. Put back for Brown. Tips it out to the middle. The shot's no good. And the Red Hawks regain control here at half court. Sabani has it with a right arm dribble. 125 to go in the first. They got a fresh shot clock out of it too. Sabani back outside the arc. McNamara wide open three. Top of the key it was short. And in the hands here of Siegler. Back to the way for Bowling Green. Pass near wing for Turner. Holds it above his head. Along the near side as we approach one minute left here in the first. Turner switches to a left arm, far wing pass. Ziegler has it for Bowling Green, down the right edge. Floats it up with the left hand, no good. Brown the rebound, picks it up, and hands it over for Day Day Grant. Grant left handed dribble, back for Brown, far side. He'll try three, that's short. Rebound grabbed by Ziegler under the Bowling Green hoop. He's over the line on the left wing. Ziegler let it go as Grant picked up. The ball, a clean strip away. That's the second or third time that he's done that where he's just disrupted a play by running running it down from behind. You love to see it as a coach. And the Red Hawks will use their first time out here in the game. They have 24 to shoot. 37.4 seconds left in the first. We're tied at 36 between the Red Hawks and the Falcons. And Jack Goins elects to use his first time out of the game here before the Rocks will I guess what might be the second to last possession of this first half. Yeah, if it's the second to last possession, there's about a 13 second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. So you want to drop a play that you can get, that you know for sure that you can get a good shot off of. Then that way you can either go into the halftime break with a lead or you're tied up one or, one or two ways. As on the far side of the court in the arena, the Indiana Pacers dunk team sets up their uh, contraptions, all of their trampolines and pads. I saw them at Ball State last year. How was it? It was uh, incredible. Definitely looking forward to that show. They will perform at halftime here at Millet Hall as the Miami game operations staff corrals them around on the far corner. <laughs> Coleman lands in a day-day grant. They're at top of the key. Rocks 20 to shoot, 33 seconds left here in the first. Grant dribbles between both arms. He's just waiting here outside the Archon Ziegler. 
Durant back to a left arm dribble to end his shoot. Down on your way. Pass back for Sabani. Right elbow. Stepped in and back out. Sabani trying to move his way through three to shoot. He got a floater to go for the right edge. Bowling Green out of the ball. 10 seconds left. The shot clock off. Fry trots over the timeline, middle of the floor. Cuts to the right edge. Fry outside the arc. Tried a three and then got it back. As now it is Turner. And the Mac logo flings it up with a second left, no good. And the Miami Red Hawks will take a lead to the locker room over the Bowling Green Falcons. Miami 38, Bowling Green 36 through 20 minutes for Oxford. Great strong possession right there by Miami. You got a great look on the inside, then you got back, played great defense. You knew Fry was gonna be the one that wanted to shoot the ball, but there was great defense on him to make sure he had to give it up. Great job closing out the half. Red Hawks out rebounding Bowling Green 16 of 15 here after 20 minutes, including five offensive rebounds for Miami, two for Bowling Green. What has impressed you the most about the Red Hawks so far today? I think their ability to just continuously respond because we saw them, they got up to that early lead, and then we've seen them so many times where they give that lead up and then the other team just completely takes momentum. This time they stopped Bowling Green from doing that. They were able to respond to, kept this game very close, this back and forth. This was probably how it was going to be the whole way. And another stat we talked about too from the beginning of this one, Miami leading the points of the paint right now 26-12. to 12. That's been a critical area for Miami to produce offensive uh, production here throughout the past few games and if they can keep that up they've got a legit shot to knock off the division leading Falcons this afternoon. Yeah getting points in the paint is so huge because you're getting so much closer to the basket and instead of forcing up threes which we've seen them do a lot you can get a lot of easier shots a lot of layups a lot of cuts for people so it's just a lot better to get points in the paint and a lot easier for your team. So on one side of the floor right now at the half they're honoring all of the teammates and friends and family of Daryl Hedrick who have come back to celebrate his day today at Milet Hall. That's on the right side of the floor. And then on the left side of the floor, you got the Indiana Pacers dunk team setting up their stuff to perform at the half. 14 minute break or so, we're back with second half action. It'll be a bar fight all night long between Miami and Bowling Green, 38-36. Your score, we're back with a second. In just a moment, stay with us. This is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
Mumba. <laughs> Six Miami leads it here at the half as the team's out shooting around to warm up before our second 20 minutes of play. Patrick Escher, Josiah Collins back with the year on Red Hawk Radio. All right, Josiah, one of the things you want to talk about were the bench points in Bowling Green leads that department 25 to 5. 
Yeah, I mean, the bench points, that's going to be a huge thing, especially leading into the rest of the second half. If your bench is out there getting you production, getting you points, that's less the work that your starters have to do. So Miami is going to need some more help from their bench if they want to win this game. And it's just been a back and forth. It's been like a, a carousel, basically, of who starts what game. It's not like they have a set five. It's yeah. been different every game this season. And so if you're a player, does that bother you at all? Does that make you anxious at all? Does that put you on the edge because, hey, I might be starting this game or maybe I'm not starting this game? Like, if you're a player in that situation, how do you feel? How do you react? You know, I think uh, I think back to, like, my old high school days when that happened, my old high school days. I'll say that like I'm old. <laughs> but anyway, like, just I was in a similar situation where some games I would be in the starting lineup. Some games I'll come off the bench. Some games I just might not even play that much. Some games I'll play the whole, almost the whole time. And yep. it's just a whirlwind of different things that you go through your head when you're doing that. But really the most important thing is you just make the most of the opportunities that you have when you're out there. The main reason the coach is doing that, they're trying to find what works. They're trying to find what rotations really – give the team the best chance to win a, win a game at the end of the day. So if you have to come out sometimes, if you have to go in sometimes, you just have to really keep playing your role and no, don't, don't let your playing time affect who you what you do out there on the court. So a 38-36 lead for Miami. The leading and the leader in playing time today for the Red Hawks is Nike Sabani, who has been out there for 17 minutes for Bowling Green. 15 minutes to lead for Daquan Plowden. And Bowling Green will get the ball here to begin the festivities in half number two as they put 20 minutes on the clock and we're set and ready to go. Caleb Fields will inbound for the Falcons along the near side of the floor. Yeah, so Bandy's aggression has been probably the biggest factor for Miami so far. We talked about it in the first half, how that was really the player that Miami wanted to see all year. So if he continues that, they're going to be in great shape with him. Fields the inbound play to half court. We're underway. David Ziegler for Bowling Green. Has the ball here, past the far side. Tyler Matos hands it back top of the key. Caleb Fields over the Turner. In the arc and back out. Top of the key, Fields. Near side, Plowda charges his way to the baseline. Fired off the rim and no good from the corner. And Danny Grant, the rebound back the other way for the Red Hawks. We're out rebounding BG 16-15 in the one in this game so far. Grant to McNamara, holds it above his head, near side. Spin around move, gets a floater up with the left arm. He got it to go. Beautiful post work once again. The spin move, got the defender off balance. The pump fake just kept him there, and then he just was able to get whatever he wanted. McNamara on Matos that time. Turner top of the key for Bowling Green. Hands it back for Fields. Hits the brakes, left elbow, pass near away for Ziegler. We get a whistle here for a Miami foul. I think they got Grant under the hoop. Yeah, they're going to whistle him for a block that time. He tried to get his hands up and get in position, but that time he was impeding the progress of the other player too much. So Bowling Green here has it under the baseline. David Ziegler near corner, three-pointer. Went off the side of the backboard for Plowden. Back the other way comes to Bandy. Right-handed dribble inside the Arctic back out. Manny's still with the ball here, trying to work on fields. Down the left edge of the paint, floater shot, missed it short, and a put back attempt and a foul. I think that was a great job that time by Sabandi of pulling the ball out. I think last year, maybe even earlier in the season, we would have seen him try to just drive as soon as he got up court that time. And that time he pulled it out, waited, showed a little more patience, got fouled, and I was going to the line for two. And back to the line again today for the third time. He's four for four on the day from... The charity strike, and the first one drops through for Nike Subandi. 80.4% free throw shooter on the year. Averaging 13.2 points per game this season for the Miami Red Hawks. And their third to last regular season game of the year today. Second one is good by Subandi. Definitely like the way they came out to start the second half. Came out, scored a few points early. Now they just have to keep doing what they're doing on defense. Bowling Green has yet to score. Free throw line, it's held here by Marlon Sierra. Back to the top of the key. Feeds in here wink for Ziegler. Inside, left edge of the paint, working as Plowden got to the back logo. Jovic with great defense, but Plowden a fade away. Jumper is good for the free throw line. And even though he made that that time, Bowling Green has not looked comfortable so far with a lot of their shots today. While they're getting something to go, they're just not very comfortable. There's, these aren't shots that they necessarily want to get in the floor of their offense. Grant right had a dribble to the corner for Miami. The pass inside. McNamara caught the ball with both arms. You get a whistle here. And they're going to call a foul. Well, I'm not sure what they call. 
think they might have called something on Sabandi there for an illegal screen when one of the Bowling Green players was trying to make a baseline cut. That's why you're the color analyst. <laughs> Siegler over the middle of the floor for BG. They have the ball back on offense two minutes into the second half. One bounce top of the key. Turner down the right edge, pass far corner, caught by two hands. Sierra, top of the key. Plowden plows his way on the right edge of the paint, got it to go. He went one against three and beat all three Red Hawks. Yeah, you just can't let that happen. The spin move that time just left the lane wide open. And if you're going to help on defense, you have to restrict the areas that he can go into. McNamara at the top. Pass to the far wing, Savani. Right wing, My J. White, the three went in and out. Well time shot there, but just couldn't get it to go. BG works it up the right wing. Justin Turner outside the arc, far wing. Right handed dribble to the rack. It's off the glass, no good. McNamara, the tip out for Grant. Over the line here, middle of the floor for the Red Hawks. Grant off the glass. And his right side drive missed. Just plowed and picks it up. Back the other way comes PG. Ziegler, right side drive. And we get a whistle here. He got a layup to go, but Krant committed the foul and then slaps his right arm along the base of the basket out of bounds. As he's angry about the play, the basket will not count. Bowling Green will inbound here far side of the offensive baseline. Yeah, that time just frustration. I don't think he, those, the past two fouls that he's picked up here early in the, in the second half, I don't think he feels like he's earned those fouls at all. So that's just some frustration that time. Far corner jumper too hard off the hands of Justin Turner from the inbound by Ziegler. You're right, Danny Grant, just three points today, one for five from the field. And it's picked up, two personal fouls. Three-pointer top of the key, good by Larry. That was from downtown. Yeah, and if Miami can bring that three-point percentage up, that, they could, that could help them grow this lead out a little bit right now, shooting three for 11 from it right now. Turner dribbles here, the Miami M at half court. The pass back for Plout and three-pointer, good for him. Daquan Plowden has been lights out for BG. 16 points to lead the Falcons, and it's 45-43. Every time Miami tries to do something, Bowling Green has an answer. Larry the far wing for Jovic. Top of the key, here's McNamara, the left-handed dribble. Hands it back, Sabani. Down the right edge of the floor, gets the drive to the rack, and good off the glass for Sabani. Nice, strong attacks. I like how he's working his way around the defender, and really getting some easy layups for himself. 47-43, the Miami lead. Turner, right-handed dribble at half court. Moves his way to the middle, pass top to keep Plowden. Far wing feed, here's Ziegler. Over to Plowden, the three-pointer short, and he was fouled. He was standing in front of the Bowling Green bench. He got shoved back by Jovic, and although the three-pointer doesn't go, Daquan Plowden will head to the line for three free throws when we return to attempt to put Bowling Green back to within one. 15-49 left in the second, a 47-43 Miami lead. They've kept it consistent so far, but does that continue? This is Miami Vets Basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
59-49 left here in the second, a 47-43 lead for the Miami Red Hawks over the Falcons of Bowling Green, the division leading Falcons, who coming in have won three straight. They are five and three on the road, but Bowling Green 13 and one at home at the Strauss Center this season. Free throws are on the way here for Daquan Plowden at the timeout. In fact, he has three. And Plowden a 86.7% free throw shooter, six the first one. To go three for three at the line so far today. Yeah, and on closeouts for Miami, you just have to make sure that you, because the whole team of Bowling Green, they have a lot of shooters on that roster. So you, when you close out, you have to make sure that you give that shooter enough space to land. You don't want to commit any more fouls on a three-point shot. And a second free throw is good. 47 to 45 is the lead for the Red Hawks. And Plowden's third one makes it a one point game. Three for three at the line, that's clutch. 47 46, the lead for Miami. Here we go again. Makai Larry far away for Brown, top of the key. McNamara holds it above his head, left elbow, whistle here, it's going back the other way. A yeah. foul on Miami. Yeah, they're going to call Delonte Brown that time. He hooked the defender behind him, tried to create too much space, so the ref is going to call it every time. And Brown will pick up his first personal. Delonte appearing so far today in 10 minutes of action. PG gets in here, Wink plowed a dribble left arm, back for Fields, top of the key, in and back out. We get a whistle and a foul here. Against Bowling Green offensively, something away from the play. All right, another chance for Miami to try and build the lead a little bit, give themselves a little more space. So if Bowling Green does score, they don't take the lead away. They got Ziegler that time for his first personal. Top of the key, Larry, for McNamara, right elbow. McNamara works it back, Larry right edge, upended, completely stripped of the ball, Turner back the other way, reaches left edge of the paint, floats it off the glass, and miss, rebound tipped around in the hands of McNamara, who squares off the defender, gives it back for Savani, quarterback in the offense right now for Miami. Yeah, great time that time, just getting back on defense, trying to force a tough shot. Savani for McNamara, the give and go. Savandi here finding room left elbow, pulls up jumper from there, it's good by Nike Savandi. He is now at the 20 point mark on the day. And five rebounds away from the double double. He's in complete flow right now, complete rhythm. Just run the offense through him, let him work. 14 and a half to go in the second. Three point Miami lead, plowed in left wing drive off the glass. And we get a whistle here for a foul on the Red Hawks. The shot no good. But Plowden knocked to the floor, they whistle that, and he's got two coming at the line with 14.26 to go. Yeah, that time they're gonna call a block, but I just didn't think there was enough contact there from Larry in his positioning. I mean, he kind of got jumped around on that play, so I think the, the whistle there was a little too late. It was a very, it was a different call, just kind of the, the way it was went about. Plowden at the line, the first three throws good. Daquan Plowden today leading the team with now 20 points. Six for eight for the field, two for three from outside the arc, and six for six from the line. Five rebounds, two leads the Falcons in 21 minutes. And the second one good to make it a one point game again. 49 48, the Red Hawk lead. Free throws definitely keeping Bowling Green within striking distance at all times. Larry pass near wing, Savani catches it with both arms, top of the key, McNamara over to Jay White, right-handed dribble for Larry up top. Far wing pass, Brown left edge, got to the rack and a foul here. Great effort by Delonte Brown to work against Plowden, who commits the foul. It'll be Bowling Green's fourth as a team in the half. And I guess Brown headed to the line for a pair with 14.07 left in the second. So far, Miami perfect from the line, but only Nike Sabandi has been to the line. So this is going to be another test here for Delonte Brown to see if he can get some points on the board. Couple dribbles with the right arm for Brown. Free throw is up and good for Delonte. 79.2% free throw shooter on the air. Cool as of late. No double figures in the past five for Brown, who's averaging 10.7 this year. Yeah, I definitely think those injuries have played a role in that. 
Just put it off here for the junior out of Toledo, Ohio. Second one is good. And Laster grabs it for Bowling Green to take it back to the left edge of the floor. Bowling Green moving right to left here in this second half. Turner, free throw line, steps back outside the arc to Plowden left wing. Brown right on him, Plowden cross court drive. And we're gonna whistle here for a foul as he was tripped up. Brown went down too, and I think Brown's gonna be guilty on this one. Yeah, and there's another foul, and of course, Plowden was the one drawing the contact. If they keep fouling him, I don't think he's gonna miss many free throws in this game today, so Miami might want to stop trying to play so physical with him, maybe play a little bit off, give him a little bit of a gap. I know he's a shooter, but you don't want to keep putting yourself in these foul situations. Six rebounds of the day for Delonte Brown to lead Miami. And it's Plowden to the line. It was 21 of the day in terms of points. Two dribbles. Looks up. Free throw is up. Man, it's good. On the one and one opportunity. So the bonus now for Miami, who's given up 17 fouls. Already with just 13.50 to go in a second. Yeah, it's going to be a long second half for that <laughs> Miami defense. <laughs> just make sure you're in proper positioning. Keep your hands up. Make sure you're not reaching into the reaching in to try and strip the ball or anything like that. Just play smart defense from here on out. Second free throw is good by Plowden, and the Red Hawks cough it up out of bounds. As Brown inbounded to Larry. Larry just kind of held it there and then dropped it and went out the baseline. And Bowling Green's going to get it in the offensive end of the floor with 30 seconds of fresh shot clock down by one. Yeah, Coach Owens was going to just take Larry out of that situation there. He's had the ball stripped away from him a few times today, so Coach might want somebody in there with some surer hands. One bounce on the inbound of Fields, right side of the post. It's off the glass, no good. Redux. Avoid that situation. Brown came down with it, and Grant quarterbacks the offense to the right edge of the floor. Brown steps away for a jumper right on the arc. It missed short. Laster back the other way for Bowling Green. Old line on the right wing. Laster, pass far side. Turner left and a dribble. Goes up top. Now drive to the right edge. Pass far wing. Laster three pointer. It hit too hard. Bounced right back up from the iron. Maybe it was going to drop through, but. Ducks get lucky there, Jovic came down and Coleman lands across the timeline. And we get a whistle here, Jack Owens wants a timeout and he will call his second of the game and we'll take a timeout as well. 13-10 to go here in the second. Miami on top over Bowling Green by 51-50 score. This is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. We're back at Oxford, 13-10 to go here in the second of 51-50 lead for Miami over Bowling Green. Patrick Escher, Josiah Collins back with you on Red Hawk Radio today. So, Josiah, Bowling Green to clinch this year. The MAC regular season title had to 
win today and have Buffalo win as well. That would be the first scenario for that to happen, but Buffalo losing to Akron, 86-73. That game just went final, so it's impossible for Bowling Green and Clinch to share the title today. Well, now they just, I mean, they don't even know about it, but they're definitely going to keep playing hard. Hopefully they can try and get something here going on on defense, probably. They want to stop Miami from getting so many shots to fall. Miami's been doing a good job shooting the ball this half so far. So Miami here will inbound the ball, coming out of the break. Along the near wing of the offensive end of the floor, Coleman Lance will have it. As Bowling Green outscoring Miami 14-13 here in the second. Grant the far wing pass, finds Milos Jovic for Brown, free throw line. And now back for Sabani, three pointer short. Jovic tips the rebound back out the near sideline, kept in by Coleman Lands. And we get a whistle here and a foul as Fields was trying to go back the other way, but upended on the Miami M at half court. And again, the Red Hawks giving Bowling Green the one and one bonus. So it'll be one and one free throws here for BG. Yeah, soon enough, this is going to be double bonus. If Miami keeps fouling the way they have been, and this good, they're going to put themselves in a position for this to be a long last 13 minutes or so because they just can't seem to stop fouling them right now. So at the line for the one and one, it's missed off the hands of Caleb Fields. 63% shooter on the air from the line. Grant pass far away. Subani left-handed dribble, top of the key, back for Grant. Rox working here on offense, up by one. Haven't seen too many points as of late in this game. Past couple minutes, Bowman wide open. Far side three, missed it too hard. Put back Subani, tried to cut through, but couldn't get it to go. That's usually your shot Bowman would hit. A wide open three it usually gives the team a lot of energy with those shots. Bottom gave it back, Laster left-handed dribble, feeds it far wing, field three-pointer short. Bowman trying to come in for the rebound, it goes to the hands of Grant. Pass up the near wing, Coleman Lance hits the brakes outside the arc, gives it back for Grant. Far oh. wing, Savannah the catch to the far corner, Jovic three-pointer too hard. The bench was going crazy about something there. Yeah, that time Jovic, he's standing wide open in the corner, Sabandi was not even looking to pass the ball in that situation, so the whole bench was telling him, pass the ball, pass the ball, but <laughs> he, he just passed it way too late and allowed the defense to recover, so that was why it was a missed shot there. Last year, kick out, digs, far side three, too hard for BG, rebound right to the hands of Coleman Lance. Over the line right away, here comes Grant with the ball, 11 and a half to go in the second, a 51-50 Miami lead. Grant the right-handed dribble, walks around the arc to the far corner, floater inside for Bowman, tipped it around and out of bounds. That's good defense here by Bowling Green to get in Bowman's way, and we get a stoppage here with 11-19 to go in the second. 51-50, the Miami lead over Bowling Green. It's back and forth all afternoon. This is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
11-19 to go in the second of 51-50 late for the Miami Red Hawks two over goal and green. Patrick Gesh and Josiah Collins live from the attic of Millette Hall. <laughs> that last possession there for Miami, you saw Dede Grant, he forced a pass in there that time. That's just not something that you really need to see moving forward. That was kind of a reckless decision. Miami's done a good job not doing that most of the game. Plowden right wing three is good from the break for Bowling Green. Daquat Plowden continues to eat up the Red Hawk defense. 26 on the day for him. Yeah, they're going to have to shut him down moving forward. You're going to have, you're going to, have to make somebody else beat you. Right now, he's doing it all by himself. Sabani for Coleman Lance, top of the key. Left-handed dribble over to Jovic on the left wing outside the arc. Top of the key, Bowman. Back for Coleman Lance. One bounce far away. Jovic trying to work his way left elbow. Top of the key, Grant has it. Down the left edge, floater is good with a shot clock expiring. Grant with a nice play. Yeah, great drive and finish right there. Five points of the day for Grant. Dylan Fry back in the game here for Bowling Green. Cuts across the floor to the near wing. Dishes back right wing three. Plowden is in and out. And into the hands here of Savani. I don't know what happened that time that Plowden was able to get such a wide open look. But whoever's guarding him on defense, if I was coach, I'm telling them, you just stick with that man for the rest of the game. You don't help. You don't do anything else. You just focus on him. Savani here on the left wing. Gave it for Grant, back for Savani. Top of the key, left-handed dribble down the left edge. Floated it short, and it's tipped out of bounds by Bowling Green. I will get it back on the offensive end with 20 to shoot. And 9.47 left here in the second. We're tied at 53 between Miami and Bowling Green. Falcons first in the East Division. Miami sixth, last in the East Division. Sabani right-handed dribble in the paint, fired up a floater that missed. Coleman Lance flings it down to the post. Bowman with a move up and under, gets it to go. And the Red Hawks take the lead back at 55-53. Beautiful job that time avoiding the defense. Fry from the far corner, floats it back for Plowden. Top of the key, Trey Diggs. Far side, Fry went up for the three, never shot it. And we get a whistle here, he contacted Jovic. And Jovic will get a foul to not the chagrin of Jack Owens. Yeah, that time, I think that should have just probably been a play on. You have both of the guys moving to the same spot. Jovic was moving back, actually, and then Fry was the one that extended and made the contact happen, but refs are going to call it. They gave it to him. So Dylan Fry is one and one free throws here. His first trip to the line is 69% free throw shooter. Beg your pardon, and Fry actually went to the line in the first half. He's one for two. And the first one too hard, camming down with the ball with Sabani. So Miami want to avoid another foul there because after that, after they get to the 10, it's going to be the double bonus. Yeah, Rex holding on to the two-point lead right now. Bowman far away. Give and go with Sabani. Back to the near wing. Coleman Lance holds it above his head. Sabani far side. The left-handed dribble to the far corner. Bowman right-handed. Will go to the left edge. Try to work his way through. Floats it off the glass. No good. Rebound tipped away to the corner. Diggs up for Fry. Fast break the other way. Fry gets Grant. Trying to pass it far side, but nobody was home. As the players trailing down that right wing was Michael Laster, but Laster three feet away from the pass. And Miami gets it back here quickly inbounding with 8.50 to go in the game. Yeah, that time I think Laster, that was a miscommunication on a fast break like that. You usually want somebody to stay in the corner like that when you have one, some, one, one, one other guy driving in. Grant the left-handed dribble outside the arc. Walks his way up to the top of the key. Down the right edge of the floor, Grant with a little hook shot there, hard off the backboard, but got it to go as he cut his way to the back logo. Making a way. Tell you what, 57-53, the Red Hawks lead it. And the freshman was getting creative there. Laster, right wing drive, hit the brakes, Mac logo, off the glass, so good, took an unlucky bounce. Bowman picks up the rebound over to Coleman Lance, and now it's Grant. Dana Grant here over the middle of the floor is this good crowd on the line. Wants to see Miami upset the division leading Falcons. Who've won three in a row, five of their past seven coming in. Grant far side pass, Coleman Lance. Down the left edge, kicks it out. Brown top of the key, shovels it right away. Grant the three, got it! Timeout, Bowling Green, they will use their third. Dana Grant. 
34% shooter outside the arc now has 10 points in the game. And Miami takes a 60-53 lead with 7.42 left in the second half. Defense has been turned into offense, building that lead out. Now they're up seven. They're in a great position to keep extending the lead. Can't wait to see what happens after the timeout. Timeout becomes a media timeout. 7.42 to go. Rock's on fire. Spivey basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Seven forty-two left here in the second. Try to fire up the crowd. A mullet, sixty fifty-three. The Miami lead. Patrick Eshin, Josiah Collins, back in here on Red Hawk Radio. And Bowling Green with the ball has a timeout. Dylan Fry at half court trails to the left wing outside the arc. Pass top of the key, picked up by Sabini. Breakaway down the floor and a left-handed dunk by Sabini. Red Hawks take a nine-point lead with seven twenty-three to go. Well, Minnesota's starting to swing Miami's way. If they can continue this for the last seven minutes or so, they'll, they'll be great. Turner left-handed dribble around the arc of the near wing. Top of the key for Diggs. Pushes off on Brown. It's coming back. Brown went to the base of the basket. And it's not like he's a small body at all. Brown, 6'7", 200, went back pretty hard. Yeah, that time, the offensive player, you just used too much force trying to create some separation. Draw the, draws the offensive foul. Now Miami in a position to put this to a double-digit lead. They got to capitalize here. Grant left-handed dribble over the timeline, middle of the floor, down to seven minutes left here in the game. 62-53, the Miami lead over Bowling Green. This will be a huge win if the Rex could pull it off. Grant top of the key, near wing for Bowman, back for Grant. Ten to shoot, Grant trying to right lane, drive on Plout and kicks it back, top of the key. Bowman steps away from Fry. Now Sabani with the right side, two to shoot, gets down oh the middle my line with a dunk! Jordan oh. style by Sabani! 64-53, it's the loudest this building has been all year Ooh. long! Just stop it, stop it. That's gonna be on Sports Center. <laughs> Fry back for Plowden. Fields near corner, Sierra tries the three. Short, Sabani the rebound. <laughs> this is the Sabani we've been waiting to see all year long. 24 points of the day, and the cherry on the cake with a dunk. That's the NBA player right there. That is what coaches <laughs> are telling him to come do this year. That's how you get to the NBA. That'll be the first clip on his highlight reel. Coleman Lance top of the game for Grant. I mean, Sabani just drove through with two on the shot clock and got that one to go. Three steps from the arc to the iron. Bowman, top of the key, three, and oh, with the shot clock expiring. Turner back up the right away for Bowling Green. 
To the right side, a drive in, offensive foul. He knocked over Bam Bowman. Jack Owens. <laughs> and Jack Owens is halfway out on the floor. The referee told him to get back to the bench. 5.44 to go in the second, 64-53. Coach is loving what he's seeing, and so is everybody in the building today. <laughs> Miami is playing so great right now. This, this is why they're up 11. Where's this team been, Josiah? I mean, that's what we all want to know. I, they, if they played like this all season, they would be in a much different position. It's games like this where you see how good they really could have been. This is an 11-17 and 17 basketball team. We're seeing 4-11 and 11 in the conference, and they're doing this against the division leader. Coleman lands near wing, top of the key on offense for the Red Hawks. 5.26 to go in the game. Far side, Day Day Grant, left handed dribble, back for Bowman, hands it off for Grant. Mack logo at the paint, floater shot, right arm, missed it. Bowman works for the rebound under the hoop and flips it back up, but it's no good. Still great opportunity for a second chance for us. Get back and play some defense right now. Bowman got the rebound, or excuse me, Bowman Green got the rebound. <laughs> Top of the key is Fry. Down the left edge, floater up for an alley oop, it was missed there, but kept in by Sierra. Kicks it back top of the key, turn a three pointer. Too hard, rebound Sabandi. Nike Sabandi, the double double, that's his 11th rebound of the day. I mean, just what an impact he's had on them today. Just complete, completely leading the team. They've gone as he's gone today. Grant top of the key, over to Delonte Brown. Free throw line for Bowman. Back for Brown, left wing thought about the three. Bowman at top of the key, does the three and got it to go! And the players leap off the Miami bench. Tied up Bowling Green. Fans starting to sense that upset. Bowling Green's panicking a little bit. They might need to settle down for these last four and a half minutes. They are on their feet here at Millet Hall in Oxford. We thought we saw the best Miami team of the season on Thursday against Central Michigan. I think we've seen the best Miami team all year tonight. Yeah, 100%. You're doing this against one of the best teams in the conference, one of the best teams in your division. I mean, we're, well, we, you wish they could have played like this the whole season. <laughs> right. I mean, the issue with Miami has never been the talent. It's just been, can you play for 40 minutes? And today, they've done that. Oh, not not yet. There's still four and a half minutes to go. <laughs> but, like, they've really played well for the, the whole game, and they just haven't let up. You just wonder why they could have done this all season. Yeah, for sure. You wonder why. 4.29 to go. We'll step aside for a moment. 67.53 the lead. This is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Four twenty-nine left here in the second, a 67-53 lead for Miami over Bowling Green. Patrick Eschen, Josiah Collins. How do you close it out, Josiah? By doing everything that you've been doing for the whole game so far, you've been playing expect like a just spectacular defense and on offense. You're getting all the shots that you want in the paint. You have to keep doing that. Don't don't let off now. Don't start shooting too many threes, and make sure you don't foul either because they're in the double bonus after that. Half court, Dylan Fry, the left handed dribble. I think Miami's getting a foul here. Yep. Sabani and Turner were tied up, and Sabani will be whistled. And again, the Red Hawks with 10 fouls as a team in this half. So Bowling Green will get two free throws now for every Miami foul 
the rest of the way with 418 to go. And that's going to be how they stay in the game. When you're a team that can shoot free throws, you're stopping the clock and you're allowing yourself to get some points on the board at the same time. Turner, the free throw is good on the first one. Justin Turner, 84% free throw shooter on the year. Richard Jr. out of Detroit. Played high school ball with another one of his teammates, Chandler Turner. They're not related, but we haven't seen Chandler so far today. Full court press for BG. Larry out of the near corner of his own end, able to dance past the defense over the timeline in time. Pass far side for Savannah, returns to Larry, top of the key, back to the near wing, Coleman Lentz. Up top for Larry. Left handed dribble across the arc with four minutes left here in the game. Top of the key, Savani. Waits, fades it far side. Larry cuts to the left elbow. Back for Savani, far wing. Wide open, three, missed too hard. And BG gets the rebound back the other way. I like the move of bringing Larry back into the game here. That's another ball handler. And with BG trying to start pressing up now, that's somebody else that can bring the ball up for you. Turner, top of the key, the near wing pass. Fry, three pointer, it's short. Dylan Fry has been limited a lot today for Bowling Green. Just only had seven points all day. Bowman in the give and go. Larry top of the key over to Sabandi. Back for Bowman. Near away, it's Larry. Left handed dribble. Over the line here. And Fry the reach in on Larry, who just had the ball all alone near half court. Yeah, entirely too aggressive that time. You didn't need to foul if you're BG in that situation. I mean, they have 10 seconds on the shot clock. He's standing by half court. It's going to be a tough thing for them to get a good shot on that possession, but fouling them, that just gives them another chance here. Only Fry's second person in the game. They quickly take him out. And Makai Leary here, one and one on the 17th foul. Gets Bowling Green here in the second. Larry takes a breath at the line, spins the ball, fires off the shot, got it to go. That's going to be the key right there. If you can make your free throws in this game, you should win this game. And the Red Ox, as a team, shooting 8 for 8 from the line today. That's a lot better than we've seen in previous games. Oh, yeah, we've seen it just get downright abysmal sometimes. <laughs> so them shooting like this right now, this is definitely a welcome sight. Yeah, the Red Ox have been lucky in some games just to get to 70%. As Larry makes the second one to continue the perfect streak for the charity strike for Miami today. 3.05 left in the second. 69.55 to Miami lead. Turner near away for BG. Gets it to the near corner. Fields back for Turner. Top of the key. Right handed dribble. Fires off the three. Way too hard. As Bowling Green will get the long rebound. Came back up to the top of the key. Flowers near side. Three pointer. That's too hard. Rebound right to Sierra. Back for Plowden. And it goes out of bounds as Plowden coughed up the pass, deflected off of him, and out the far sideline. Miami gets it back with 2.45 to go in the second. All right, here you go. Here, here's your chance. Take some time here. Run a longer set here. You have 30 seconds for a whole shot clock. Just make sure you're taking some time off the clock and getting a good shot at the same time. Larry, the near wing pass for Coleman Lance. Top of the key, Larry. Back to the far wing for Sabani with two and a half to go here in the second. Coleman Lance, top of the key. Near side for Larry. Over to Coleman Lands. Left handed dribble going down inside the arc. Fires the shot up. Missed too hard. Flowers comes down to the ball and it goes over here to Loster. Michael Loster up top for the Falcons. Right handed dribble. Carries it across the arc. Fires it in. Bowman tipped it back out. Larry down the floor for the Red Hawks. And a Ooh. two on one with Sabani with a pass over on the left wing. Was tipped out of bounds by Plowden. Ross will get it back, but a good defensive play. They're coming back. Miami leading by 14 with 2 1 left. So, Benny wanted another highlight there. He's telling Larry, throw it up high. Don't <laughs> throw it back there. <laughs> As Coleman Lance here will pass over to Bowman, left wing, and back for Larry. Larry for Bowman. Near wing is Brown, wide open near side. We'll hold it here. Stinks provides defense. Pinchy not too aggressive on defense. And now they start to step up the game. Sabani near wing for Brown, 10 to shoot. Larry near half court, and he's fouled as Diggs got to reach in there on Larry trying to move down the right wing. Yeah, good job on Miami there. If they're not going to press up on you, you just take the time off the clock and you'll live with the result because right now you don't even need to score the rest of the game right now. Up by 14 are the Red Hawks, an 18 to 2 run, Josiah, in the last 9 24. 
Yeah, it has been an electric run for them really to close this game out. They just have a few more a few more ticks of the clock here to go, and then they can call this one a win. Second personal gets Trey Diggs. Makai Larry at the line for the one and one. The first one is good. To make it 70 to 55, Miami. And the second one from Larry drops through as well. 71 55, seven points of the day for Makai Larry. Turner over the line, right wing for BG. In the arc and back out, pass near wing for Lester. Left handed dribble spins around left elbow, kicks it back top of the key. Turner fires off the three. It goes off the rim on the right edge. And caught here by Coleman Lance. Stretches it up ahead, Larry. And a foul here as Larry carried it down the left way and Bowling Green got to reach in and the crowd's starting to realize that Miami may in fact win this game with 122 left. They're up 71 to 55. Yeah, and all the fouls here by Bowling Green, they're just pretty much unnecessary at this point. You don't need to foul them in that situation. I mean, you're down 16. There's not really much of a chance here if you keep fouling them and they make their free throws. And the first one from Larry's good in the one and one. So Miami, just one more home game left after this. It comes your way Friday. They play the Bobcats of Ohio in the final regular season game of the year at 7. They go to Buffalo on Tuesday to play the Bulls at 7. And Bowling, or Miami rather, just called a timeout after Larry made the second free throw. Yeah, Miami pretty much, they can almost call this a win. Just make sure you finish it off. I don't really see Bowling Green coming back in this game. Miami is definitely going to get the upset here today. And an appropriate day to do it. Daryl Hendrick Day, he's being honored. Pretty good crowd on hand. Double header day. This Miami women's basketball team lost to Akron in the first one of the basketball double header. Miami men's basketball team appears to win today against Bowling Green. And then, of course, hockey on your way tonight on Red Hawk Radio at 7 o'clock Eastern time over at Goggin Ice Center. Miami will take on Omaha. In game two of that series, hockey team winning last night, so they'll look for their first sweep in over a year at home tonight on the ice. Let's get it done. And then we'll shift our attention more to the spring sports this playoff time. And hey, let's talk playoffs. Miami and Bowling Green. Today, you watch Miami with a great performance against the division leader. There's a potential this team could win a first round playoff matchup ahead to Cleveland. Yeah, there, there is definitely that potential. I mean, with this Miami team, I think they can definitely compete with anybody in the MAC. It just has to be, can you put it together for an entire game? You have to make sure that you're playing defense the right way, that you're making all the hustle plays, that you're playing on offense the right way. If they do that, they can be anybody in the conference. But the Red Hawks are one and ten on the road. They're going to definitely travel for that first round game. They've lost nine straight away from Millet Hall. Have yet to win a conference game on the road this year. Bowling Green with the ball here after the timeout. It's Ethan Good, fresh in the game for the Falcons. Came down the far side for a try, but the shot missed. One minute left here in the second, and they're going to bring in a couple players for Miami now that they have the ball. Michael Ritchie and Ben Litkin will come in. Bam Bowman, Nike Sabani take a seat, and Bowman waves his arms in the air trying to get the crowd fired up as he exits. Sabani exits 24 points of the day, 11 rebounds, and double double. Bowman. Seven points and five rebounds. Definitely a great team win for Miami today. Fans definitely going home happy. Litkin give and go with Larry. Down to Richie in the paint. Back for Larry. Far side. Litkin tries the three. It's too hard. Crowd wants him to get a basket as Litkin making just his 10th appearance of the year out of St. Louis. Chandler Turner. Half court for Bowling Green. Far side pass for Isaac Alasser. And now held by Ziegler. Top of the key for Dinks. 30 seconds to go here in the half. And a three pointer missed there by Alasser. Going with the ball now is Coleman Lance. 20 seconds left. The shot clock is off. Coleman Lance across the timeline. Crowd fired up to their feet here at Millette Hall. The bench on their feet trying to get the crowd into it as Coleman Lance waits at half court. Got the upset, got the win. Definitely a great feeling for Miami. Starting to win a streak here, second game in a row. Two seconds in one, and the Miami Red Hawks knock off the division leading Bowling Green Falcons, 73-55 in Let Hall on a Saturday afternoon. 
Red Ox winners of two straight. They're 10 and five in Millet Hall. And they improved to 12 and 17 overall, five and 11 in the back. Two regular season games of the year remaining, and this Miami team is looking as good as they have all year long. Yeah, definitely love to see the win. And this, they didn't just win this game. It was decisive. Like, after the second half, and when the second half started, they really just pulled away, and they just pretty much owned Bowling Green the rest of the way. And it was just a great thing to see. Best thing you saw Miami do in the second half. They continue to attack. You know, sometimes I think when we saw them get out to lead, they would start settling for a lot more threes, just trying to really build up a lead that way. But in this game, they just attacked, 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 and just kept going at the paint. So I definitely think that's the reason that they won this game the way they did. All right, I wish we could talk a lot more about this Miami win, but we got to go over to Goggin Ice Center for hockey. It comes your way in about 90 minutes or so here in Oxford. Miami basketball team, the 73-55 win over the Falcons of Bowling Green. Great call today, Josiah, as always. So for Josiah Collins, Patrick Eshin, rest of our Red Hawk Radio crew saying so long and good afternoon here from Lett Hall in Oxford. One and one is Miami Athletics in the doubleheader. Hope to join us in 90 minutes. Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio comes your way from Goggin Ice Center over uh, in about 90 minutes or so. So until then, thanks so much for listening. Have a great rest of your afternoon. Racks, the winners stand. Men's basketball, 73-55 with the Falcons of Bowling Green. Have a great afternoon, everybody, and we'll see you tonight.